a lot of times you're not gonna hit one, you know, articulated animal where all the bones are out there like in Jurassic Park, that just doesn't happen. You know, a lot of times you're hitting, you know, individual bones that are spread out. I mean, think about it like this, guys. You know, uh, you walk upon a dead deer in the woods and you see the bones scattered all over the place. Well, that's because predators have been actively pulling apart, weather, what have you, and the bones are just scattered, sometimes 50 feet apart. And then you have a flash flood event that comes through and washes all those bones down into the river channel. So they are very separated out, which is why we can get piles of just miscellaneous bones like this. Isaac actually found this one. This is a really nice hadrosaur vertebrae right here that he's got. You can see the processes coming out here, the neural canals right there, and there's the center part of the vertebrae. So digging out this piece, this is a hadrosaur pubis right here. It's a really weird bone. We'll throw a picture of it up on your screen so you can see. It's just got a weird looking in. But within that caught up was this vertebrae right here. So we there's the centrum, the center part of the vertebrae. The process is coming out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop. Uh oh, we're gonna pop this vertebrae out. All right. Oh. And we did good, there's no skin, yay. <laughs> so there we go, so now we've got this bone out. We've got a couple processes sticking up here that we'll remove and then put with it, but that is a huge hadrosaur vertebrae right there. But you get that with these fossils, is, is you get stuff just piled in on top of each other and then in and amongst all of that are teeth. So just anything and everything flows into this river channel. Most of the dinosaurs that you see in museums, in displays that are all put together, they're not just boom, that one animal was right there. Generally what happens is, is they've got a partial animal, maybe 20%, 30%, and then they look for other bones from other animals to complete that entire skeleton. So most of the, when you go in and you see a dinosaur, you know, that one fossil that's, you know, all mounted up on display could be comprised of 30, 40, even 100 different animals just finding the bones that'll fit in place. And that's very, very, very common.